a, it's a concrete slab with a metal, uh, what is called a butler building on it. I know a lot of our things are like very old. How do you guys work in a space like this and do good work? Actually started coming to see plays at the Playhouse in 1976 as a high school student. And it was the great building to see shows in town. There was no warehouse, there was no center stage. Uh, you went to the Greenville Little Theater to see some other type of theater. But you had to hustle to get your Playhouse tickets because they sold out. And in those days it had 40 more seats than it does now. But I do think that my high school had better resources than the Furman Theater Department does, which isn't fair to A majors and students who are paying just as much as any other student to go here. Um, but also it's not respectful of the kind of work that we do, even though it's good work with what we have. I know of another school where my friend's also a theater major at, and they don't have to um, like pull as much from um, their storage, or they don't, they can they can have the ability to like donate or toss more, and they can um, pull a lot of new like brand new costumes. And in 2006, we started working with the Pasden Smith Architects, and they're very complete plans for a new building to be sited over by the uh, chapel. Uh, now, the, those plans, uh, uh, they were good. The, the theater was great, it was the right size for us, and our building was only going to have seat 250 tops. And the theater was in the center of what you know is the core of the um, department, which are the shops, the workspaces, the acting studio. We have feasibility studies that have already been done back in 2006. Uh, we got really close, but then it just didn't happen. There's obviously a gap between what the department is saying and what the administration is hearing. And I think that with the firm and advantage and kind of pulling that a little bit together, I was like, well, as a student, like, I definitely have a unique opportunity to go and talk to administrators about something I'm passionate about and I care about um, and kind of mask that a little bit under the firm and advantage. I would hope that from the department side and from the administrative side of um, Furman that there would be a more communication and collaborative understanding that it is simply trying to give students the Furman experience that we keep talking about and pushing and branding um, and really making it the priority of the students education. Almost every department at Furman could benefit with something that cost millions of dollars. So it's not just we're left alone over here while the university sits on this huge pot of money that no one wants. Built to last uh, no more than 25 years and we'll be hitting 50 in uh, 2019.